Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So one small little command just solved all my life problems. It just cured my depression. It killed my virginity. It just made me happy. I never realized I can do this. I have been struggling so long for years just for this and I never even realized that it it will be so easy. Nobody told me that you can do something like this. This is the downside of being a self-taught. All right, so what this is, okay? So I'm a motherfucking YouTuber, so I'm going to take time and not going to tell you straightforwardly that I use you know SSH for port forwarding, but whatever. So what happened is uh, one of my friend just used um, like saw my jelly fin and what he wanted is he wanted he wants to access it. So now the problem is this is running on localhost, so he cannot access it from his home or his computer. All right, so. I wanted to share this collection with a bunch of people and what I used to do is suppose if I want to show someone this movie uh, Race the Red Lantern so I used to upload it on Google Drive and then Google Drive takes some time to process it and then you know I share the link so they can watch because those people are normies okay I can't just use Toffee Share which is not the sponsor it's just a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing I like so I can't use something like this I have to have to you know use google drive okay now what i did is i you know i got fed up i i realized that this is not going to work and i just want to make this public so i tried ultra cc before i thought okay maybe i can just use ultra cc they don't allow jellyfin what the fuck okay so i can't use this basically it provides one tv storage it's a seed box they give ssh access i mean even if they are not allowing jellyfin it's fine i can just somehow make a nfs or you know just whatever so but it was so complex for me and then paying this much monthly for storage of only one tv it's too much for me okay and the downside of this is having a movie collection or you know your media collection in cloud doesn't really make sense so i realized this isn't about jellyfin this is about storage okay in the end of the day we all need storage and there is no point of having a storage on the if you can't access it uh, anytime and if you can access it but if you always have to download upload and it's in the cloud and you're paying you know what i don't like it okay i want to save my money so what i did is what i realized it one night i just sat down i just thought some way to just make it public without using any cloud service or anything without getting any cloud storage or anything and i realized if i get static ip i can just do it but then i looked up and my isp just gave me a big fuck you so i'm not going to get a static ip then i realized you know what fuck you geo i don't need static ip from you because what i'm going to do is i'm just going to run this small little command so before running the command i just want to show you that i have a vps root at the rate bookswriter.com uh, where i can ssh because i already have key authentication and i switched from vulture to reknard which was super cheap i don't know why i was wasting money on vulture so whatever so this is my vps so what i can do is i can use this ssh command beautiful beautiful ssh command and what this command is going to do is um let me just open a new terminal and type sudo net stat T U N L P. As a DevOps engineer, this is a really important command in case if you are going to get any DevOps job. So what you will see here is uh, there are a bunch of ports, and if you see this port, this is my Jellyfin port. Okay, so my Jellyfin is running, guys. All right, it's running, and this is the port 8096. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this command, and here in my server, if I just do net start or uh, before running the command if I do you know the run this same command you can see that in my server 8096 is not bind to anything so what I'm going to do is I am going to bind uh, this 8096 off my server to my localhost 8096 okay so if I press enter uh, before pressing enter I just want to pass this flag minus n which is basically uh, do not connect do not run any command just you know all right it's running so now if i again run 
nested uh, tunnel up i call it tunnel up you can see that i got this okay so this port is now listening okay 8096 on the local host and this is actually amazing because now actually i have a um, nginx reverse reverse proxy so if i go to etc nginx site enable available and yt local so for the testing purpose i just uh, you know use this yt local so you can see this proxy pass i got and here you can see to that local host without uh, nginx proxy i won't recommend to run this because it won't even run because you're running on localhost not this thing all right in your server so basically now i can just type wits dot works writer oh, what the fuck? why it's not working um it's not working guys it's not working of course i'm recording a video all right so the link is not wits it's yt all right so bang okay why it's not opening all right it's opening so bang my jellyfin is now public and it's running from a local computer oh, wait a second why the page okay page is loading my record is uh, in new york so it's a little bit slow so basically if i want to show these movies to my friends why it's not loading all right it's the same computer but you know fuck networking okay so uh, it's loading it's loading <laughs> let me just load let's let's okay fuck load okay so you might think that it's slow but trust me it's not it's just the connection take time because the server is in new york uh, but if you watch a movie i have watched a movie my friends have watched a movie it just works perfectly no need of paying this you know cloud storage the movie collection i'm making is in my local hard drive and i'm using my internet there is no bandwidth issue it's my home internet and i can just share this movie with any of my friends all right and not just this thing not just jellyfin you can even share nextcloud you can just do things like uh, python okay not here so if i go to mnt and media uh, media python minus m http server and now instead of running this here i can just do a thousand and i'll give you some more ideas uh, so stick don't don't leave the video yet okay <laughs> all right so all right so i don't know if it will work but let's just see it won't work i'm pretty sure it's eight thousand i have to do proxy pass then it will work so all right let's do proxy pass um no need for sudo let's just instead of this you can use chat gpt to create you know write nginx config and that's it system ctl restart restart nginx mm -hmm. nginx all right so no need of this just again yd.boxwriter.com and boom sorry for blinding you but boom this is my collection okay so movies this is my movies collection all right so i just shared uh, my local media directory uh, to the public all right to the public i can even host some website like this this is quite easy now you might say what's the point of this you already have a vps you i mean if you 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 get my point right you already have a vps but this is actually useful because you know I'm going what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a 5 terabyte hard drive I'm going to attach it to any of my desktop or you know Raspberry Pi I I might buy so I'm going to run it 24/7 and install Nextcloud in it and trust me it's always good to have this setup for your files because then uh, right now what happen is uh, for example my jellyfin I can watch movies. I can watch movies uh, when you know from local hosts, but I cannot watch from anywhere. All right, when I was away from my home, when I was away from my hard drive, there is no point of you know having all your personal files into some hard drive, and if you can't access it through network, it's I don't I don't see any use of it. All right, you are not going to carry hard drive all the time. So I'm going to run it 24/7, and it's local. So it's like best of the both world. I'm also trying to save money. I don't like buying cloud storage. I even get got rid of 
fucking Google workspace, which was so annoying. Instead, I'm using MX routing. So no more vulture. I'm not wasting money anywhere. Okay, so MX route is my email server now. So all right, that's the video. I hope you like it. We are going to do tons of cool stuff with just this command only. All right, you can literally just share any service and you don't, it's, it's less hassle. I don't know if you understand or not, but for me, like I don't really have to install Jellyfin in my cloud or anywhere. It was already running in my local host. All you have to do is just forward the port gracefully and no need of fucking static IP. All right, so that's it. That's the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.